on the boat again I'm on the boat again and I'm going out to deep reef out of Half Moon Bay trying something I've never done before and I don't think I've seen anybody ever do and that is to troll or drift for halibut in 200 to 400 feet of water I'm gonna use a 24 ounce weight or maybe even a 32 ounce weight attached to a three-way swivel who knows what's down there I have no clue all I see is people fishing for halibut in like 100 feet of water, not all the way down 200, 300 feet. We might pull up a sea monster, some kind of sea monster. Making my way out 13 miles to Deep Reef, but about two miles out I had to stop because I had to go to the bathroom. Looking on the fish finder and there's a bunch of little dots here at between 80 and 90 feet. Check that out. I mean, I'm right in it too. I got a depth counter soft down there. So I'm only a couple miles out instead of going all the way 13 miles. I might just troll around here for halibut, see what happens. Here's a little trick for the sabiki just to avoid getting hooks everywhere. Just hook the hooks onto themselves. It'll minimize the amount of tangles and untangles you've got to do. So now we got six hooks ready to go. Tons of anchovy down there maybe. Maybe sardines, I don't know. Maybe mackerel, who knows? Maybe herring, I don't know. Oh, we don't even have anything, jeez. There they are, bunch of them. They're nibbling at it, Just need one to get hooked. There we go, there we go. It's one little guy, actually pretty big. All right, all right, all right, all right. Chill, 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 ah. These damn smells are crazy. Small little mouths on them, but man, they make good bait. Man, I really want to go out deeper, but there's so much life out here. There's birds, there's birds diving. I see bait on the fish finder. I'm just gonna stick around here, drop down that live smell I just caught. If we pass by another school of bait or something, like right here, I'm gonna drop this down again, try to catch a few more smelt or whatever bait is down here, and hope we get lucky, man. Hope we get lucky. Okay, there's getting bites on the sabiki. Let's jig them up so we can set the hook on them. All right, we got a couple. We got three, I think, looks like. Yep, three nice ones. Hey, these are really good for halibut. We're gonna catch halibut today. Whoa, look at that. I thought this was a smelt, but this is not even a smelt. What is that? Is that a, what is that? Is that a big herring? I don't think so. Whatever it is, good bait. See what, I, see what I mean though? There's so much life everywhere. There's probably salmon, maybe halibut. Who knows what else is down there? Oh my gosh, they're all they're on it again, like clockwork. It's kind of fun just catching these smelt. <laughs> Good activity for the kids. We can just let that sit down. And as the waves and the swell bob it back and forth, that's jigging automatically. All right, we got our bait for smelt, man. We're gonna start drifting one and keep loading up on smelt as we go. Now I got my all my assortment of weights in one tackle box, so keep things organized. Got the twos, threes, fours, sixes, eights. I think we're gonna have to do a, tw uh, let's do a 16 because we're gonna slow troll it. And with this front hook, I'm gonna go straight through the nose there on the bottom. And I want there to be room so he can wiggle his fins. Now I feel like if I put it on the bottom, more likely that he will get hooked and it can actually swim better in my opinion. Yeah, that little bit of slack between the front hook and the back, that allows that fin to move back and forth. So we're gonna drop her down 135 feet now. See if anybody wants to play over here. And remember, we're out halibut fishing. We're not salmon fishing, we're not rock fishing. So technically, I can use as many rods as I want. This one looks like a nice feisty size. I'm gonna put this on my next hook and I'll drift around two rods for, for halibut. Ooh, this one's feisty. This one's feisty. This one's going to get bit. When I'm out here alone, honestly, I do not like to keep my motor off. I like to keep it on just in case I can't start it later, you know? So we're going to keep the motor in idle. Let's watch these rods. Hopefully one of them bends over. Good. No fish though. <laughs> no, not yet. Pretty sure this is a little sardine, and man, is it way more feisty than this smelt. Oh, 
Oh, fish on was a good one too. Dang, did it come off? Anything? Do we see color? Any color here? Aha! Look at that. Sand dab. And something was chewing on this sardine. Something was probably chewing on this sand dab too. Look at that. If I had the choice between a sardine and a and a smelt, I'd choose a sardine all day if I was a halibut. All right, all right, good sign, good sign. We might use this for bait later. I think I got another sardine in there. Let's throw another one back down. Oh, there's bite. Oh, fish on. Yeah, 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 let's mark this spot. We just had two hookups right now. Oh man, I think we lost them. Dang, man. Halibut, most likely because if you look here, you can see the teeth marks right around the treble hook too. Right around it, but didn't get hooked. But we're in a good spot. We've been drifting for about an hour now. Good sign, baby. And we caught enough smelt where we can keep ourselves busy getting excited again all right here we go there's my sardine might as well use them while we can a little feisty guy Ooh, these are feisty both of these straight through the nose all right oh fish oh nice one nice one too oh my gosh lost him i think no he's on there Oh yeah, that's a good one. Woo! Yeah, baby, this might be one of my first halibut out here solo. That was a good bite. Oh man, yo, this is a nice one. It's taking drag. Woo! Out here alone, trying something different today. Found a halibut, found a halibut spot. This is a good one. Heck yeah, let's mark it again. There's the gaff. Thank you, Carlos, for this gaff. We're gonna gaff him in the belly. Usually if you gaff him in the belly, you bring him on board, they don't flop around. Okay, okay, what you got here for me? 120 feet deep. That was fast too, on the sardine. Yep, that's a nice one. Oh, that's a ling cod, dude. It's a nice ling. Not what I wanted, hey, but that's a keeper ling cod. It's actually a fatty, that's a nice one. Yeah, 24 inches. Might as well keep it. Heck yeah. Bleed them out in the live well with our bait. All that blood will get pushed out the top. All right, we got another sardine here. Oh, don't drop. These wiggle around so much better than the smelt. Shit through the nose. Their bodies are way softer too. Right down here through the bottom. Over the top you go. Drop her down. Oh yeah, oh yeah, he's feisty, he's a feisty one. You know, the good thing is, if you're going rock fishing and you're going for ling cod, rock fishing stuff, you can only use one rod. And it just so happened that this one got bit, so I only had one rod in there. Otherwise, according to the rule book, I would not be able to keep that ling cod because I had two lines out. But got lucky enough to have this one in before I reeled that one in. Oh yeah, this one's fighting good. Okay, this is a nice one. Lincod or halibut, whatever it is, it's got some good head shakes. Little lincod. Not a keeper. Man, you know what? This sardine, even though it got bit up and tore up like that, I still want to use it while I can. random thought I had the other day actually coming out here fishing the older I get the more I realize that I don't know as much as I used to think this whole world is just so many unknowns who knows what's gonna happen tomorrow you know it's a, it's a, it's a cold world out here y'all 
last ditch effort for the halibut of the day. Whoa, I just hooked up on a good one. Yeah. Yo. <laughs> Bro, I think I got the halibut. Yeah, this is a good fish, man. It feels like it's snagged almost. This is a good halibut right here. Finally, dude. Right over the sand. Right over the sandy area. Small smelt. This is a nice one. <laughs> yes! Oh my gosh. About to call it, too. Little smelt might just save the day right here. It's coming in. This is the biggest fish all day. This is not a lingcod. Almost certain that this is a halibut. Finally, we get a chance to use this gaff. Ooh, it's just hanging on there. This is a good one, y'all. This is a good one. Check it out, check it out. Bro, this got some weight on it, dude. This got some weight on it. Oh, man, this is a nice fish. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You see that? You see that? Let's go. Oh, he's he's heavy. This is a heavy fish. Let's go, man. Woo! Woohoo! I came out here. I set out to catch a halibut. And I got a big one on right now. This could be my my very first halibut that I've ever caught in the ocean that I've actually been trying to target. If I can get this one up, oh man, this is a nice one. I don't want to set my drag too tight because if he wants to run, I'm just going to let him run. But dude, he's heavy. Can't even get him up. Oh, oh, bro, this is a nice one. This has got to be a 20 pounder at least. <laughs> oh man, it paid off, it paid off. Going to the final spot of the day, last drift of the day. Man, I'm getting him up like a, like an inch and he's just taking the line again. Uh, I could tighten the drag a little, but oh, he just came off, dude. Oh no, no. What could I have done? I couldn't have done anything. If I just pulled him in, he would have broke off. He was just hooked by the lip. Dang, that was a really nice one. Hey, I know exactly where to go now. Nice, nice. Nothing broke off. I had him on the small little hook on top. Damn. I mean, I couldn't have... If I tightened the drag more, he probably would have just broke. So, no, what could I have done? I'll get another one now. Damn, man. I'm going to be thinking about that one for a while. I just... I felt that hook just rip right out. Just rip the skin right out so I'm not that mad I don't think it was user error I think it just unlucky just didn't hook him right and a lot of times you lose fish you know you can't you can't catch all of them everyone that you hook you can't bring them in all the time that's just what it is fishing so fishing is a good good way to learn how to deal with heartbreak too oh that's a fish there's a fish Oh, oh, I don't think this is as big as that first one, but this is a fish. This is the last drift, last drift before I went in. This feels like a halibut. Woo, last one, just chilling, eating my chips. All right, we're at leader, we're at leader. Here we go. What is it, baby? Feels heavy. I'm about to use that gaff on him. What is it? No, it's a lingcod. <laughs> Oh man, that's hilarious. That's funny. Get over here, man. You're not going anywhere, dude. Uh, uh, uh. Thank you, Carlos, for the gaff. I'll be back out here for that halibut, whatever that was. I'm pretty sure it was a halibut because that was a big fish. Thanks for watching, y'all. Just a chill little video today. Any requests for a video in the future? Let me know. All right, peace.